For the first time ever, Medicare negotiated with drug makers to bring the price of 10 prescription drugs down for consumers. The new prices released this morning take effect in 2026 and show up to 79% in discounts compared to 2023 to break it all down for us. We've got Yahoo Finance's very own Anjali Kamlani here with us. Hey, Anj. Hey, Brad. Yeah, good news, of course, for consumers and especially for seniors and those with disabilities who are on Medicare. The Part D part of it is the important part to focus on. This is just Part D drugs, which is drugs that are taken at home. Now, if you take a look at the list, you do see the new prices of the drugs varying in range. Range, but it's important to point out that we don't know what this compares to while that slashing in price is compared to list prices or to the broader spend of Medicare. We don't know what the net price is that they spend for these drugs. And that's why it's hard to really tell what the actual savings is. Medicare did say that they're saving $6 billion in total in 2026, which uh, overblows the Congressional Budget Office estimate of $3.7 billion. In addition, $1.5 billion in savings and out-of-pocket for seniors. Now, really interesting to note that Wall Street doesn't really care about this. It looks like investors and analysts and uh, generally the markets have priced it all in. You can even see the stocks are all in the green for these companies that are impacted. Uh, there is some criticism coming out though because we have seen with in addition to these IRA prices but also Medicare shifting some of its cost um, and its spend and reimbursement an increase in premiums for Medicare Part D in the coming year and that is something that the uh, government has already said it will have to dole out five billion to help offset, offset that cost so on balance there's criticism that there it could be uh, not a total win for the government we heard from uh, industry insiders as well as the companies themselves. Take a look at Johnson & Johnson, for example, telling us that the reality of the IRA government price setting is that there will be higher costs for patients as seen in other countries with government dictated prices, restricted access, and fewer medicines. While seniors may see some benefits from out-of-pocket caps, that's including the $2,000 that goes into effect next year, uh, patient access to provider prescribed treatments should not be unfairly and unnecessarily restricted. And that restriction concern is coming from what PBMs may end up doing, what action they take, as well as the insurers. So important to think about that. But will this impact the broader market? Can we see an impact on drugs and maybe others taking a lead from CMS pricing to affect their negotiations when they can? Employers, for example. I asked CMS Deputy Administrator and the Director of Medicare, Dr. Mina Seishamani, here's what she had to say. Transparency is very important, and I think that has been the main goal of standing up this program. You know, in the spring, we will be publishing justifications for these prices and talking about the data that went into this, understanding and respecting that proprietary information, as you mentioned, stays um, confidential. But right now, everybody now knows these negotiated prices and others can take that information into account. So a signal from CMS right there. Meanwhile, we do know that Bristol Myers Squibb, the only drug company so far to signal what this could mean for 2026 and 2027 estimates. They sent over their uh, pricing or rather the revenue worldwide, and that is out of 11.8 billion that they collected in 2023, they're looking at a slight dip on the lower end and then a much lower uh, uh, dip in 2027, as you can see on your screen. So what the broader impact will be, will these estimates be true? We'll obviously be waiting to see. Yahoo Finance's own Anjali Kamlani breaking down all things on the latest Medicare moves here, netting in some lower drug prices, hopefully, for millions out there. Thanks so much.